Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 2, and we've got just a couple more bad guys left about. Just enough to still make me concerned. So, yeah, I really, I don't like how these, these choke points kind of work. So, we're going to... We're going to move up very cautiously, <laughs> because there's a good chance I can... Th there's a real chance you could still lose anyone in your party at this point. Uh, the arrow launcher is going to do beyond respectable damage, and the, the gargoyle obviously is going to do a fair bit of damage. Uh, the, golem, the golem really is the, the weakest link in, in this entire chain. But even he, he's going to hurt. So what we're going to do is we're going to move everyone up slowly. And we're going to move it so that they don't get boxed in. And because the last thing you want is for anyone to get boxed in. And why are... That, that gargoyle is really concerning me at the moment. I do not like where this is headed. Alright, um... Yeah, that's, I guess, all I can do, so we're... And we'll move Peter up this way, because Peter's a flying unit, so he's actually quite safe there. And Bowie's gonna take a hit. Oh, that's not good, because now the air... Oh, no, because we can heal. Thank you, Kiwi. For being right there at that moment. Because there's a good chance that arrow launcher can do 10 to 15 points of damage in a hit. So, we, like I said, we're going to move up and around, and yep, they're going to attack Bowie. Saw that one coming. 11 points of damage. So, wouldn't have killed him, but it, he would not have enjoyed that feeling. So, arrow launcher... Uh, Arrow Launcher is a threat at the moment. Uh, let's see. Let's... Yeah, let's attack. We, we need to do some damage. We need to, to take these guys out, is what we need to do. And there really is not any good place to put Bowie where he won't die at this point. So I just need to... I need to heal Bowie. Bowie levels up to 17. That's not bad. That's good. That's... Uh, let's see, do you have a healing item? You do. Um, as much as I really don't want to do that, that'll keep Bowie alive for just a little bit longer. As we can hopefully do some damage to this group. And let's come over here and we'll go ahead and attack the gargoyle. Try to keep him focused on us so that he doesn't go flying after those guys. And uh, nope, nope. He's he's going after us regardless. That's that's fine, I guess. Uh, all right, who's got what health at the moment? Uh, Fourteen, ten. I I can do some damage to the golem. I don't think that'll kill it. Nope, not quite. Uh, however, I I can do that. That's as silly as this is. It gets rid of the golem, <laughs> so that's I'm okay with that. Um, all right, let's just move these guys over here as quickly as possible. Uh, as much as I would love to get a hit in, I want Bowie to stay alive. And with two guys next to it, I just, I'm, I'm not going to take that chance. Because I, that's what would happen. I, I saw it coming a mile away. We don't want that to happen. Alright, I really just cannot get that group over fast enough. Uh, let's, let's do some damage to the, oh, let's kill the gargoyle even better. And that leveled up Chester to 17, that's... Mmm, that's perfect. Um, 
Yeah. Let's just end this fight, shall we? Really do not like where things were going. Um, it was lucky for me that I met you. Yeah, because you would have died. Alright, so you're going to go over and we're going to try to open the ancient tunnel, which is on the, uh, the right side here. The door is closed. But apparently his magic incantation of kicking it in the balls does not open it. So we can't go to Grand's Island this way because his grandson who took the Sky Orb locked the door. Because apparently the Sky Orb is more powerful than incantation. So let's get the treasure that's here. And we find the wooden panel. That'll come into play in just a moment. And then we can come over here and get this treasure, which is more power water that I'm not going to be using for a while. So, yeah, that's that's good. I'm okay with that. And that is everything in here. Just want to do a quick run through. All right, so what we need to do with the wooden panel is we actually need to take that back to Ribble because there's a tree that it, we inspected it that said that there looks like a place, you know, for, for something to go is on that tree. So we come up here, and... Item use, and we'll just scroll the way up to wooden plank. We use the wooden plank, and it opens some ruins underneath Ribble. So we knew there was some stuff going on, and we can't go that way, unfortunately. It's blocked off. Now let's look around and see what we got here. There's a couple of treasure chests. A, lot, a very expansive set of ruins here. Bowie finds the Achilles sword. So that's going to be equipped to Bowie very quickly. And nothing over here. What about over this way? There was another way we could go. Want to make sure we explore everything, just in case, and no, it's just the Achilles Sword. So there's really nothing else we can do there. So the Achilles Sword. 42 to 45, which means we can give the Steel Sword to Luke and bump his attack up to 36. And makes him a little more useful. Not terribly, because again, his attack is just going to be a little bit lower than everyone else's. Because that's the trade-off for being a flyer. Uh, he gets, you know, incredible range, but he does not get the, the terrain effect bonus, and he does not get really good stats. That's, that's the long and short of it. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Because what do we got to sell? Um... I thought we had some stuff to sell. I mean, we've got a longsword to sell. And that's it. So I, I thought we had more. Let's buy more. Oh, no. I don't I don't want that. I want... I, I want to talk to... I want to talk to this guy, because he's, he's going to sell... He's going to sell me, like, healing items, which are things that I want. All right. Medical herb costs 10. Who gets it? You get a medical herb. And you get a medical. You're gonna get several medical herbs, Sir Halt. And Amaze got two. Kiwi's just gonna get restocked completely. Actually, I think I'll put a healing seed on him as well, just so he's got something a little bit heavier duty than uh, the medical herb, just in case. And Yaha needs a couple of things. Bowie needs something. And I think that's it. No, you need something too. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And medical herbs all around. But we, we are hitting the point where medical herbs are really losing their usefulness. Alright, so we are what? Level... 16, 17 for most of our party. Uh, the promotion level is level 20. Once you hit 20, you can promote. Uh, 
the sword that we have on Bowie, the Achilles sword, not only does it have a specific use in the game in terms of a battle coming up, but it is also the last sword Bowie can equip before being promoted, I believe. I think that's the last sword. He might be able to get the next one. But there, there's a point where you're going to start finding weapons that can only be equipped by a promoted class. So that is something to, to take into consideration. Uh, if you want to spend this time power leveling, it's, it's entirely possible. But there is one thing we have to do that I really, really just do not want to do. And I'm going to feel very terrible about this. Now we have to go south. We've got to go this way. And we're going to run into a boss fight right up here at that little intersection that I really just don't want to do. And in order to do it, it's going to, to be a bad thing. First, I'm going to go save it just because uh, I, I kind of need to do that. Uh, I forgot to do that while we were in town. But this fight is is one that I'm going to be I'm going to be cheating. I'm going to be cheating. I'm going to be skipping it. That's how how things work uh, with this fight because I just I loathe this fight. This is the worst fight in really any RPG I've played. Like there are there are few fights worse than this one that I can think of off the top of my head. In fact, I kind of want to do a top 10 list of terrible boss fights that are just mind-numbingly frustrating. And this would... this... It may not be the top one, because once I start doing some research, it could be... could be worse. But this one will definitely be up there on the list. So we're on the raft. Raft stopped. Did the water stop flowing? What's that? And we look off the side of the, the raft, and there is a kraken. A monster, it appeared from the river. It must be the monster they mentioned in Polka. Watch out. So this is the kraken, uh, released by Liam Neeson himself, out to kill us. It has... Uh, I'm, I'm not even a... To, to show this off. Oh, actually, I might. I might show this off. So, we've got Kraken legs. We've got several of them, as you can see. They're they're all over the place, and they're two different types of things, so we've got a lot of enemies to deal with uh, that I just really don't want to, but let's let's take a look at Kraken legs. Uh, HP of 24, attack of 38, defense of 26, agility of 19, movement of 6. And then we've got Kraken Arms, HP of 30, attack of 42, defense of 28, agility of 22, movement of 6. So, their movement is great, but they can't actually move onto the boat, so they can only move up to this border. So they've got a fantastic movement, but as you can see, this fight provides you with very little opportunity to gang up on the same enemy. Unless you put flying units out into the water, which just basically puts them at risk here. So what we need to do is we need to go after the Kraken Head. HP of 35, attack of a whopping 50, defense of 29, agility of 25, movement of 5. The Kraken Head gets will get more than one turn due to its uh, agility rating, and has a bubble special attack that it can use. The legs have a normal attack radius of one square apart. The arms count as ranged units, so they can attack two squares apart. So they are considered a range unit. So what we actually need to do is we are going to be sacrificing Luke for the greater good. I know we just gave him a new sword to help power him up, and I feel really bad about this, but um, this, this is how it's going to have to go. Uh, we are going to walk Luke right up to the head, and we are going to attack it. The head will not move at the moment because its its AI prevents it from, from taking an action right now until we move our force somewhere in range of the attack. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to lure... Oh, damn it. I was hoping he was far enough away, but apparently not. I may... 
may have to redo that one as well, because that I don't think is going to be enough at this point. But what we're what the plan is is to send one of your your force out on a suicide mission, which is what Luke is doing now. And I want to make sure he has enough HP, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Because once the head has been attacked, it will activate the Kraken's AI, and the head will come down and attack a target. Uh, typically, your healer, Bowie, one of these four, really, <laughs> is who he's going to start going after. And if we can get the Kraken head into one of these little alcoves, like where this is, we can start having several people start to beat up on it. But I'm not going to hold my breath that that's going to be likely. I'm, I'm probably going to have to use Mei and Kazen to snipe at it from a distance with ranged abilities, throw Peter out there and hope that Peter doesn't die, and then just melee attack with whatever I can. On the upside, we can stand here, and that counts as, you know, that's... But I don't think we can stand there and attack, so we have to be there. So it still only counts as as one thing. But Luke will do five points of damage to it, which is not bad, actually, given Luke's attack rating. I was expecting less. Kraken had blew out Aqua Breath. Damage by 12. So Luke will actually maybe get another attack in before he dies, which... that is impressive. So we're just gonna leave these... nope, nope. Uh, he's going to blow out more Aqua Breath. And Heavy Attack, 14. So no, I was hoping. So we have lost Luke. And again, that kind of goes against my, my hope of wanting a, you know, uh, a quote, perfect run. Because if you want to survive this fight, you really, really have to just kind of sacrifice someone as much as it sucks. Alright, we are going to move Kiwi out of the way. Not that it matters, because there's a good chance Kiwi's just going to die anyway. So... Just... skipping turns, and now the Kraken is going to move ever so slowly down toward us. I really, really hate that. <laughs> so... Let's see how it goes. I do, like I said, I do have a save right before this, so if it turns out that I need to, I can just reload. I'd rather not. I'd really rather, you know. All right, so now Kiwi is kind of safe and gives me a spot where I can I can move some other people into position because now is when I'm going to start trying to get people into a position where they can be useful. Um, really, May, Chester, and Kazen are are the people I'm going to want to deal with. Uh, I can move Peter there, that's fine. And, yeah. Bowie can stay there, because I think the Kraken Head's going to come down for Bowie. Which is... that's... alright, I'm okay with that. And... Let's move you there so we can move Chester up as well. Except we're just gonna get to move Chester one spot over. Which... it's better than nothing. Oh! Going after Slate. Alright. That's going to hurt. Uh, there's a good chance I'm just going to lose a lot of people in the, this fight, so... Uh, take that for what it's worth. We're going to start throwing out magic left and right now. We're going to start throwing out some physical attacks. And... As much as I really don't want to do this, we're going to have to deal with that Kraken leg. I don't like that, so we'll move you. We'll move you there so that you don't die. I really don't want anyone else to die, if, if possible. All right. Um. Let's just 
start unloading damage onto this thing as quickly as possible. And put the spear. No, it's not going to be a lot, but I should hopefully. Yeah, I. Hopefully we'll survive his next assault. Oh, and I forgot about Peter. I forgot all about Peter. Well, Peter's going to get the kill, and then we are going to be done with the Kraken. And Peter levels up to 18. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with Peter leveling up to 18, because with that done, we are done with the Kraken fight. And that is one fight, or that's one monster that actually links to other Shining titles. Uh, but that's something that we can discuss later on, because it's, it's kind of a rather extraneous, you know, link. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I will see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.